Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. It's September 22nd, 2024, about 8.23 a.m. It is so good to see you, have you. Welcome in. We are going to be talking about Sebastian Rogers and something that dawned on me that Nick the Hat said back in one of his very first lives when he jumped onto the case. And thank you, Nick, for doing so, and Dog the Bunny Hunter, and anyone else. Boots on the ground, brains working towards Sebastian, raising awareness. Thank you. But something he said that really has stuck with me, that there's one indicator of foul play in the disappearance of Sebastian Rogers. And he said that quite early on, right in the beginning. What is that one indicator, and would that help lead to the location of Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. That's what we're going to discuss today. Stick with me, hit the like button, and thank you so much for being here. This is Crime Time Buzz. We are here for entertainment purposes only. This is not fact, but it is opinion, speculation, and theory. No people or persons are being accused. Everything is alleged. I am not responsible for the comments in the chat by my subscribers and viewers. That is their opinions and alleged theories as well. Thank you so much for being here, and let's go ahead and get to it. Indicators of foul play. We had been hearing all along that from Sumner County Sheriff's Office for the first six months that there was no indication of foul play. However, there was no indication there was not foul play. Very vague, very neutral. So in comes Nick the Hat and Dog the Bounty Hunter and within almost moments, we'll say, for a little hyperbole, correct? Um, they say there is one indicator of foul play. Only one, but one at the time. So my question is, what would those indicators be? And we're going to discuss those today. And Depending on which one it is, would that help lead to Sebastian or to what happened to Sebastian? So the first indicator I'm thinking of, and by the way, hit that notification bell because I'm going to go live today and we are going to have a study session. Bring your notes, bring your thoughts, bring your theories. We're going to hit a lot of topics. It's going to be very interactive. I'm going to be taking your ideas and adding them to my presentation. We're going to keep it going and make it an ongoing document. So hit that notification bell. It's going to be a great live today. It's probably going to be a little long as well. Where is Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers? The indicators. Here's one that I, I have about six of them that I've thought of off the top of my head. That could be indicators of foul play. The fact that a crime has been committed. Number one the flashlights and the unidentified car in the middle of the night, the only activity caught on footage the night that Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers disappeared. Okay, I think that if that is the indicator of foul play that they are referring to, that leads to, if they can figure out who that is via the car or something else, then they could, that could very well lead to Sebastian. I think that is also an indicator that someone came and took, allegedly, Sebastian, or, which I think is much more less likely, Sebastian met up with someone. And the reason I think that is much more less likely is, leads me to my second one, there is no scent that leads anywhere. Okay, and definitely hit the notification bell because we are going to be talking about that later in the live because something dawned on me very much so about there not being a scent, yet a narrative about a scent trail that I find very intriguing now. So we're going to talk about that later on today too. But if there's no scent, I don't believe Sebastian could have met up with someone because his scent would have been detected going from the home, correct? So that to me means that someone carried him out of the home and that's why that he does not have a scent trail leading anywhere specifically or that allegedly 
and all of this is alleged and in my opinion, he was driven out of the garage. However, that car was not caught on footage leaving that I'm aware of in the night between coming home from dinner and looking for him in the morning, allegedly. Okay, another indicator of foul play. And what this one means to me, again, alludes to the fact that it could not have just been Sebastian leaving on his own, is the exits from the house. In various interviews, we have heard that each exit would not be plausible. In the beginning, we heard it had to be the front door crystal clear. He went through that front door, stood on that, and walked on to, stepped onto that front porch. But as the narrative evolved through various interviews, the front door was illogical, even though that was the one of two doors that Sebastian has a code to, because if he had pushed that code, or anyone had, it would have illuminated and been caught on footage by the neighbor's camera. Also, the man door, where Sebastian has a code, there was a, two garage lights allegedly on that are always on, so that would have illuminated him there for footage. So the exits can't go through the windows because, remember, they would have heard him if he had climbed through a window in bare feet and got in those bushes. They would have heard him. So, again, he doesn't know how, he does not have a remote to the garage or a way to get in and out of the garage. The back doors needs keys. He didn't have keys. And there was no breaking at sign of breaking and entering. So again, if he couldn't exit any of the exits, in my opinion, if that's the indicator of foul play that Nick the Hat was referring to, then that does tell us that someone assisted in getting Sebastian out of that home. Right? And it also means that not only did someone assist, they didn't have to break in and enter to do so. So allegedly, to me, that is someone who has access to the home. Which leads me to one of my other indicators of foul play if they are referring to this. If they are referring to the one indicator of foul play being the home was locked at night and the home was locked in the morning, and on Nancy Grace, um, the mom said that the only people with keys or access to the house is immediate family, not clarifying who immediate family was, but that indicator would allude, okay, someone got Sebastian in or out who had the ability to relock the, to enter the locked home and relock it or to be, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So again, that there's a very small pool of individuals not pointing fingers at all, but that could garner information regarding getting in and out of that house and keeping it locked up and who had access. If that's an indicator, that's a very small pool of individuals who could be talked to because only, according to KP, immediate family have access. So that very likely, if that is the indicator of foul play that they are referring to, could garner information to who helped, who knows what happened to Sebastian and where Sebastian is. That to me is one that is very likely and logical. And I hope that is the indicator they're referring to, because like I said, it's a small pool to get to the bottom of that. And then I also have down the ins inconsistencies from the original story. I'm wondering if that's the indicator after listening to interviews because when you have your original timeline and your narrative of what occurred and it keeps shifting, that's a red flag. And if that's the indicator of foul play, why was the truth changing? Whose truth is changing? And then that person, in my opinion, could be re-interviewed very easily, especially with the FBI involved now, interviewed very easily to find out why. Why did things change? What does that lead to? And maybe it will lead to a crack that leads to Sebastian or what happened to him. So one indicator, I'm curious to know what it is. I think 
it could lead to Sebastian, what happened to Sebastian, narrow down information. So I do believe Nick the Hat and Dog the Bounty Hunter are onto things. They're not showing their full hands. And I pray it leads to Sebastian Wayne Drake Rogers. He has been missing almost seven months in just about five days. Very sad story. People are looking for him. Things, I hope, it sounds like the drama has died down, and we are going to go live this afternoon and do a study session today, kind of a long live. Hit that notification bell. What do you think is the one indicator of foul play that Nick the Hat and Dog the Bounty Hunter knew almost immediately after coming on the case when we had heard for six months there was no indication of foul play? So hit that notification bell. Thank you so much for being here.